Oh, oh. Ano ang qualifications para maging talent or kasama sa group ng tier 1 and tier 2? <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, ang hirap nun. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening kung nasan man kayong panik ng mundo. Kayo po yung naka-tune in dito po sa Kaasenso with Gerard and Mitch. Ako po si Gerard de la Peña. Ako po si Michelle Orosa Oplea. Of course, ito yung mga kwentong ika-asenso, ika-uunlad at ikagaganda ng ating buhay. At ikatataba ng ating brain cells. Partner, yeah, napaka-box office hit ng ating episode tungkol sa gaming na talagang ang daming... Nanood, ang daming nakinig at ang daming nagbabato ng kanila mga question. So, as a follow-up to that, yan, mm-hmm. meron tayong inihanda related pa rin sa gaming, mm-hmm. di ba? Oo, and actually super, super VVVVIP ito dahil institusyon na siya pagdating sa gaming. Oo industry. naman. And we're just so, so thankful na may time siya para to join us today. Walang iba kundi si Miss Alodia Gosing Piao. O diba, kung hindi nyo pa nakikilala yung pangalan na yan, <laughs> nako, siya lang naman ang isa sa mga icons of gaming dito po sa Pilipinas. And siya, may so ay, mm-mm, siya ngayon ay founder and CEO ng Tier 1 Entertainment. Negosyante pa, partner. O diba? Ayan. Ano ba ito yan? Kausapin na natin si Aloja. Oo, tapos stay tuned. Towards the end of the episode, magkukwento rin siya ng advice na kung ikaw naman ang gustong maging negosyante or gustong magkaroon ng negosyo dito sa gaming industry, ilang sikreto isi-share ni Aloja towards the end of the episode. Aloja, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Ayan. So, pagbigyan ng mga viewers, pag starstruck kami ni Gerard, set up pa lang. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> doon sinabi sa akin ni Nick, so, si Alodia yung guest talaga. Ah! Sabi na lang ako. Game. <laughs> we're so, <laughs> ano, we're so, chill lang tayo. Yes, we're so happy na you joined us. And yun nga, chill talaga yung discussion na to. Kasi talagang tinitingala ka, Alodia, of course, not just as a gamer or at least as well here sa viewers namin, bilang isang entrepreneur, di ba? So I guess we want to start with that question. No? Paano ka tumawid from, you know, just consuming the games and playing the games sa pagiging entrepreneur talaga sa industriyang to? Mm-hmm. I think it all started. I mean, kasi I've always been doing this ever since high school, grade school, college, ganyan. Then little by little, I had like um, individual projects. Mm-hmm. Pero like, Sometimes, hindi ko na ma-handle yung projects na yon. Sometimes, I text my friends, oh, baka gusto niya gawin to, pasa ko na lang sa'yo. And I'm not getting a cut kasi I'm just like, I just want them to have like, para ano, baka, baka maging ano, mag, mag-form yung project na yun and then they earn a little something. So sometimes, the text ko si Myrtle, Myrtle, free ka ba sa ganito? Baka pwede mo to gawin? Uh-huh. <laughs> ano-ano. But eventually, like, I met people in the industry who also like, para support the idea to professionalize everything parang ganoon. So that's where Tier 1 came in. That was back in 2017. So I met Trike matagal na. Like he's actually like one he's the one running talaga siya yung sobrang hands-on in everything. Ako yung puro I'm always kasi away so I always coordinate online. So we met before mga 2012 pa and we had the same vision is to just grow the industry to be able to help other people who have who actually have the same passions as well so ayon tier 1 was formed and then so we were like super small like i remember seven lang kami we started with seven people we were meeting here at home lang this i have a like whiteboard dito sa bahay nagdo-drawing lang kami ng mga chart chart na ganyan dito it was re- very surreal na parang after a while we didn't even think that we would be able to grow actually it was pretty fast So it's been four years na and a lot has happened. Mm-hmm. So, but I think the biggest um, thing that happened for us was the introduction of Facebook gaming. Because mm-hmm. Facebook gaming probably was 2018, but I've been coordinating with them now. Like even before that, na I got calls from them. I was in a different country, but ne- nothing ever happened. So two years after. I- I got an update from them that they're actually pushing through the project. So they got me as their first creator in Asia to be doing like gaming streams. I was a tester pa lang as in there wasn't any money involved 
I was like, oh, sige, give lang ako. G lang tayo dyan. It's fun. Because if there are bugs, I report to them. So, so we coordinate a lot. And then eventually, they brought us to Thailand for like a creator summit. So I think we were only seven. Nun, eh. Me, Shay, I forgot the others. I think si Doggy din kasama. And then they were talking to us one by one. And then I asked Facebook Gaming Cycle, like, baka gusto niyo mag-expand to the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So par- it was like a surprise pitch. Na, so I go, very casual lang. And then, then I introduced my company. Mm-hmm. And ayun, it started from there. So yun, parang sobrang lumaki na talaga. And I'm just so happy kasi Facebook Gaming has changed a lot of people's lives. Mm-hmm. So it turn around talaga. Mm-hmm. Clarify ko lang, when, when you say na creator, ano yung kinikreate mo as a content creator? So, specifically for Facebook gaming, I create um, video game streams. So, my streams consist mainly of playing video games and trying out yung mga kung ano-ano. Sometimes tournaments with um, other people who are creators as well. So, yeah. You said high school pa lang naglalaro ka na. So, you started with what? Actually, my gaming started since family computer, so I was probably one year old. <laughs> so, okay. dire- na talaga. it's just really a hobby mm-hmm. all okay. throughout growing up. So, sometimes when I have break time, I, I before, dito lang sa house, pero nung college, nasa, ano na, may mga net cafes, so lalabas mm-hmm. lang ako na school, then I go to net cafe, then I go back to school. Pero, pero even with that, parang talagang yung focus ko pa rin was study. So, Mm-hmm. Ano, I finished my studies. I was able to balance everything. Career, then career came after. Yung talagang mm-hmm. focus. Mm-hmm. Okay. A curious question from me. Kasi, um, yun nga, dun mm-hmm. sa previous interviews namin, kay, about yung Axie Infinity, yun, you can earn uh, inside the game. Parang like, mm-hmm. you're, mm-hmm. you're, you're ah, yes. um, getting yung mga love potion, ganyan, and then you sell it. And mm-hmm. then, and then, of course, mm-hmm. there are, like my husband, what he used to do was he would create an item and then sell it. So, ito naman, mm-hmm. you're taking us to another area. Eh. I think this is streaming. Yes, making, yes. Playing it out. Yes. What are the opportunities on that side of the fence naman of gaming? Para kung yes, di- like you mentioned. Uh, parang this is a different avenue. Kasi, mm-hmm. ba, usually before, it's buy and sell. Before, it was like taboo. Like, 2003, bawal yeah. mag-buy and sell ng mga accounts. <laughs> Pero yeah. ngayon, ano, legal <laughs> so it's actually a growing business which is pretty cool so I'm happy that it will be able to support other people as well but if hindi ka masyado like hindi ka pa in line in that aspect you can go through the route of streaming and so streaming naman there's a way that you can earn through like people give out stars or bits or stuff like that those are like donations mm-hmm. na binibigay ng mga viewers so to uh, support your stream. So other than being a subscriber, because if subscriber then those uh, followers will be paying you like a couple of dollars to be able to subscribe to your page monthly. If they want it monthly, but they're gonna cancel every month. So parang may cut yung platform mm-hmm. sa mga avenues na ganun. I mean, it's that's very normal naman in any online transaction. Mm-hmm. So, but it's pretty cool because it it yung may hawak eh. I mean. Ikaw din yung parang uh, you're controlling or like how how will you get stars or something so pwede ka magpa-shout out mm. or if you want to you can send 10,000 stars I'll do a dance. So sometimes meron talagang ano like may may mag, magbibigay talaga kasi they want to see they they want something out of it. Parang oh. given yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Para sa may value. Parang channel or show, parang ganon. Yeah, it's like a channel <laughs> or show na mas interactive ganon. <laughs> So, parang alam mo no, when you do when you give something or when you type something they see your reaction mm-hmm. iba yung thrill na ganun na parang you're, you're be able you you are be able to communicate yourself with the actual streamer na hindi lang parang pinapanood lang parang nakikilala mo sila you have a question they will answer it for you ganyan mm-hmm. so you mm-hmm. you said um i'm lining up lang yung opportunities in streaming you can earn through yung interaction which is the stars or the gifts and then as well subscribers mm-hmm. sa iyong platform is there any other ano pa ba uh, way to earn mm-hmm. avenues yeah avenues. um that's that's the pinaka basic mm-hmm. pero yung when you go deep down through it there are like shrimp parang mga artistas then there are like superstar streamers who have like um what do you call that 
uh, deals with the platforms. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So those deals naman are mga contracted deals. So you get paid a certain amount per month if you can deliver all the deliverables stated there. So talagang ano na siya, parang work na, parang 95 job. Mm-hmm. So some of them have those as well. Then other than that, yung mga merch. So mm-hmm. like people like to make jerseys. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang nagiging ano na sila eh, Like artista, creator, or parang IP that you can actually use your name to sell uh, merchandise as well. Uh-oh. May brand deals ba yan? Like do brands collaborate with you for exposure, advertising, you know? Yes, definitely. Ngayon sobrang dumami yung advertising in the streaming world. So like for example, not just gaming companies, ah, so must be like mainstream companies na for example, they want me to eat like a certain uh, snack or something. So parang pinaplan yun. You, th- you think it's only simple eating but there's like a whole campaign plan for it. So that we have to uh, no, coordinate as well. Then syempre the games also want if they want to promote their game, for example, let's say next week we want to push the launching of this server or something, they'll, they'll uh, contract you to be part of that campaign. Uh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So you, it's like getting paid to play. Their game. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ito, curious lang ako, kasi diba, um, ako ha, ewan ko, perception ko lang as a non-gamer, parang, Gaming is a man's world. How was it for you as a woman, na gamer, na ito, ito, ito na yung kinarir mo? How, how was it as a woman in a man's world? Wow. Yeah. It's very interesting that you said that. Kasi people always bring that up na parang it's, it's a guy's thing and whatnot. Or to be honest, if you love what you do, gender shouldn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's like, in, in the game, we're all the same. We pick a male character, we pick a female character, they have like a special set of skills. Hindi, hindi na makaka-affect yun sa amin or whatnot. Unlike sports, diba sports, you have women's division and male division. Meron rin naman sa esports, pero generally, parang we're on the same level. Parang wherever you come from, parang kunyari, malaking tao ka, payat ka or anything, parang we're all, we're all gamers. Mm-hmm. So, parang for me, gender wasn't an issue kasi I've been playing since I was one. <laughs> or ganyan. Parang, my, like, yes, I used, I, I used a um, in-game name. My in-game name was Black Mage. So, it's very ambiguous. You don't know if it's a girl or a guy. Oh. <laughs> it's very ambiguous. Yeah. Oh. Is there a reason for yeah. that? Or you just felt like having an ambiguous name? Um... There was a reason for that because um, Final Fantasy was one of my favorite video games growing up. And there's this character called Vivi and mm-hmm. he, he or it or she, I don't know, is a black mage and ah. he's super clumsy. So me, I'm clumsy. So I was like, I'm That's me. Spirit animal. Yes. Spirit animal. It's so cute. naman. And I'm going to tier one because of course, mm-hmm. okay. it became your first ano. And then from yes. one opportunity to the next, you found a way to bring everybody together. Tell us, paano mo ba kinonceptualize itong tier one? You you mentioned a bit of it earlier, but you could take us mm-hmm. And anong classing business siya? All right. To those who are not familiar, so tier one, short for tier one entertainment, it's a gaming agency catered to anything related to video game, in, to the gaming industry. Like, for example, how to start a career, especially that. And then we used to also help organize events, but now we're really focused on creating gaming um, creators, like mm-hmm. creating gaming stars. Because parang now is the age of parang mga influencers, ganyan. And we want to be able to guide them as well as um, create a new generation of those stars. Because, of course, the bigger the industry uh, becomes, parang there are more um, slots to fill. Mm-hmm. So, ayan. Hindi lang kasi stars yung kailangan. There are also people from the back end, ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, like, for example, we have a pro team. There's, like, a whole uh, back end team uh, um, catering to them. Tapos dito naman yung mga TikTokers, YouTubers, Facebookers, mm-hmm. Instagrammers, ibang, ibang, ibang na naman yan. So, there's, mm-hmm. like, a lot of people involved. And mm-hmm. yung nakita nyo lang is what you can see on the little screen. Kala mo isang tao lang yan. No, there's like a whole team behind it. So, mm-hmm. yun. 
Mm-mm. We work hand in hand oh. for that. So mm-hmm. now there are like divisions. Like um, we have mga sales divisions, um, creatives, and whatnot. So you sales, sure, definitely they they're the ones talking to the clients and mm-hmm. being able to push like kung sino meron kami and how these like talents work. So parang talagang mena manage and then and dami. So these divisions contact each other to be able for the talent to, to the client to be able to work together peacefully, harmoniously. Because <laughs> minsan may mga sabit mahirap, they can't communicate well. Eh. Tapos yung isa, kunyar, hindi nagda-deliver. At least us, we make sure na dapat everything's mm-hmm. like uh, nakukuha talaga. Everyone's happy. Wow. Ano ang qualifications para maging talent or kasama sa group ng tier 1 and tier <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, hirap nun. Because <laughs> we always get that, like, um, yun nga, how to join, how to become a talent. But now, we're really, like, trying to uh, filter. Kasi ang hirap naman to handle so many people. Like, it's like, for example, having a lot of pets or having a lot of kids. Kung sobrang dami, mahirap tutukan. Mm-hmm. So now, we're mostly looking at someone who's really dedicated to this craft. Yung mm-hmm. hindi porket ano, like, sikat ka na, parang gaming agad. Parang hindi eh. Parang, it's, it's, there are some kasi na who tried to do gaming, but it really wasn't for them. So, mm-hmm. parang kailangan your heart is in it kasi it's not an easy job din. It, it's not just playing, it's also entertaining people when you're streaming, ganyan, being professional, and then syempre also being able to work with the back-end team, dapat nabait ka kasi, Sometimes stuff goes wrong. Di mo alam na parang may accident na or like may nangyari na hindi, hindi na plano. So you're also flexible with those things. Mm-hmm. So there's like a lot of things to consider. So we're like looking for a well-rounded person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gano'n kahirap maghanap ng ganyan? As in marami bang ganyan ngayon sa, sa stable na mga gamers? Or medyo kokonti yung supply natin, kumbaga? Well, um... Right now, I'm sure there are a lot, but we haven't really found them yet. That's why we made this show called The Gaming House. Basically, oh. it's like a PBB for gamers. So oh. this will help us find that per- that person na qualified. And it's actually ongoing. Like we already um, started the uh, um, recruiting process team. Parang yung nagsasubmit na sila ng mga forms nila and actually video entries nila. So, Siguro so, last week, that was like over 300 videos na. Hindi ko pa oh, na-check. Wow. <laughs> Yan, no? We'll ask for the link para malagay namin sa description. Oh, yeah. We'll do. I'll, I'll send it in oh, a bit. Baka may mga ka-asenso tayo na gustong pumasok sa bahay. Yes. Sa bahay ni ate. Sa bahay ni ate. Oo, nga. Hindi na bahay ni kuya. Bahay ni ate. Bahay ni ate. Di ba? At least hindi bahay ni tita. Grabe no mo. <laughs> the joke lang. Okay lang. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Ate pa yan. <laughs> so we'll put that yes. link down below. Yes. Kasi I, I'm you. sure there are a lot of people asking uh, yeah. about that one. So, mm-hmm. pero ako, my, my question naman is, now that you, you, you're actually still doing both, you're still playing and you're, you're, you're still actually being a, a, kumbaga, a talent as well, but also mm-hmm. running a business. How's that been for you? I mean, how do you you balance your time or how do you do all of this? <laughs> so, very here up. So, I don't think some people and um like when they ask me na pertana shoot tayo ganyan or do something Alis tayo, let's have a vacation or whatnot or my event, my birthday. I keep on telling them, sorry, I really have to finish my commitments muna kasi I already committed to those mga companies or parties I've been working with. Pero sometimes you even nagtatampo <laughs> and then then <laughs> then that's when I explain na par I go into detail na parang ganito. Like every every day I have to accumulate this number of hours or else mm-hmm. patay ako the next day, ganyan. Mm-hmm. So I hope they understand. Kasi kakaibang world to, it's not just a normal job. Na hindi ko to na naranasan eh. When I was like in school, di ko naranasan after college. Mm-hmm. Streaming na kasi is like a lifestyle mm-hmm. na parang um, siguro if some people here don't understand na rin na parang, for example, you have a quota of let's say 80 hours, 120 hours a month. For example, you try to divide it 
in a month. So for example, you do four hours a day. Sige, you'll, you'll be able to complete the quota. But if you miss today, that would be eight hours the next day or is spread out mo siya sa remaining days. So mm-hmm. parang you always have to compute. And that's not considering putting on makeup. That's not considering eating, I guess. <laughs> or like other things you have to do throughout the day. Right, so right. talagang time-consuming siya. But it's fun. But it, it's, it's a lot of... Um, self control i guess mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. grabe so yung, sa mga kaibigan mga ka ano magkakamag-anak ni Alodia <laughs> wag na kayo magtampo sorry <laughs> sorry, sorry <laughs> po babawi din ako <laughs> sa christmas mm-hmm. <laughs> oh wait lang partner sa mga ano natin ha, sa mga viewers natin mga listeners natin if you like this discussion, yan, ilike nyo lang po itong video na to at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba, di ba? At para mas maganda, i-share nyo po ang episode na ito, di ba? Mm, right, correct. Ako, I'm sure, madaming fans ni Alodia. <laughs> of <laughs> course! At mga... yeah, or if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll drop by. Tapos tingnan natin kung may masasagot tayo sa comment section. Oh, di ba? Ayan. So ito, um, I guess we've come to that point. Ano yung maipapayo mo sa mga gustong tumawid nga into coming into making a business out of yung passion nila, di ba? Yung passion nila which is gaming. Pero hindi sila sure. Like, it's such a, a strange world. Kasi lahat ng mga sinabi mo, this is like oh, years of going through this. Pero it mm-hmm. might be so overwhelming to someone who has not been in that space yet. Anong maipapayo mo sa kanila? Yung may ipapayo ko is maybe to try it out. Kasi it seems fun and whatnot if you see the other people who made it in the industry na. Kasi parang you do it step by step eh. They didn't get there overnight. So parang it took a while for them to get there as well. So parang if you start, don't get frustrated na lang. Parang just work your way towards it. Parang just trust the process na eventually your time will come especially if you really love what you're doing and in uh, if you're if you if you think of something the bad there's also this thing called the law of attraction it will happen i mean not not tomorrow not tonight pero sometimes it takes years pero if nandun talaga yung, yung heart and soul mo it will it will be for you mm-hmm. And then sa mga streamers naman, mga currently at it, and I guess getting discouraged if they're not yet as big as, as you or as a lot of the, the celebrity mm-hmm. streamers, anong mm-hmm. may ipapayo mo naman or tips mo sa kanila, mga pro tip para dumami ang subscribers sila <laughs> or <laughs> maano sila, ma- mas lalo pa silang sumikat? Actually, madaming ways naman eh to be, uh, to get, to that point. May maraming mga tracks yan. So, play your strengths yon. So, if for example, cosplayer ka, so, at least show your skills kasi that's that's not easy what you're doing eh. So, parang para maiba ka to differentiate yourself kasi sobrang dami na talaga sumasalian ng streaming and what we're looking for is someone someone new, someone different, someone who's tried something na hindi pa nagagawa before. Para yun talaga, parang it's, it's something nice to watch na it's very interesting. Tapos ko ano naman if if hindi mo pa nahanap yung uh, edge mo na ganun, you can also be very involved in the community. Like you can uh, create yung mga tournaments, mm-hmm. you can join mga guilds or ganyan na uh, very ano kayo like community oriented or mm-hmm. kung ano naman. Kung super galing ka naman sa game, doon ka naman sa mga tournaments. You can make a name for yourself if you win. Like for example, MPL medyo grabe yung traction na nangyari dun. We have um, a talent. Um, I also interviewed him for my podcast. That was like probably three weeks or a month ago. His his followers was like not 200,000 then. And mm-hmm. then when they won MPL, ngayon nasa ano na sila? One million. Wow. That was like a month ago. Wow. Lang. <laughs> yeah, see, si Oh My Venus and Sila Wise, like there are, siya yung team captain ng Blacklist na pro mm-hmm. team namin for Mobile Legends. And sobrang grabe, they shot up talaga. Mm-hmm. Wow, congrats doon. Thank you. Ako personally curious ako, how do you get started dito sa, sa field na to, sa larangan na to? As in, Wala, I'll just try it out, yung paglalaro, gano'n. Um, sige, for 
example, I'm a newbie, like gamer. Okay. Isipin ko muna kung, kung, kung anong track. Anong track gusto mo? Gusto mo maging streamer? Gusto mo maging pro player? Or gusto mo sa back end? So, you you decide on that. Oh. Pag back end, syempre, there's a lot of fields for that. Like photography, videography, editing, management. So, those are like are in different field. But kung pro pro gamer or streamer ka, medyo separate yun eh. Pag pro gamer ka, ano ka, parang kang athlete. So, you have to really train. So, yung team namin was training every day. Mm-hmm. As in, like, nagtitrain sila until the tournament. And then, my communication. We have a coach who actually trains them. They parang they live together, parang ganon. So, iba yun. Okay. There's, it's called the boot camp. Boot camp. And then, pag streamer ka naman, you stream at the comfort of your home or if you have, like, an office. Yun, mas individual naman yun. Hindi mm-hmm. naman team-oriented. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ito kanina na banggit mo na ano napaka busy mo. How do you um strike a balance between work and play? How do you keep yourself sane? Yon. <laughs> Lalo ngayon, 'di ba? Yes, work is play place work. That's for me. <laughs> so, even if I'm playing, I treat it as work. Pero na enjoy ko naman. Mm-hmm. So, ang nangyayari na lang I don't know, like may I don't really go on vacations. I've been such a workaholic ever since naman. <laughs> But may may happiness kasi is also seeing people succeed in their fields eh. Mm-hmm. So parang at least I get to contribute something to others. Na parang I'm sharing my knowledge, I'm sharing like um my connection so that you guys can also start your own thing in in your fields ganyan. So parang I'm I'm just happy na parang pag may may ano may na-achieve din yung mga iba around me. So, yun lang. Parang, okay na ako dun. <laughs> Parang, I'm, 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 I I don't need to rest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> ito yung, ano, ito yung tinatawag na work-life integration. Oh. Uh, oh. Yung mm-hmm. balance. But really, the the purpose then behind it. How can mm-hmm. people reach you if they just want yes. to say mm-hmm. hi? Or <laughs> if they want to say sorry? Uh, how, how will they reach you if they want to ask questions or even just say hi? Ganyan. Sa kanilang kabuli. Ah, madali lang yun. Sa ano, sa stream lang. I'm there. <laughs> so that's, that's the, the easiest way to communicate. Kasi parang now, ang dami nagme-message. So sometimes, hindi naman sa I forget to message. Sometimes I think I, I message, I replied na pala. Tapos it gets buried ka agad. Kaya hindi ko na-replyan. But if it's stream, parang, then you can see me. And then I can just see your comments. Mas madali oh. to find me there. At mabilis mm-hmm. makakapag-reply sa Alodia. So we will put that as well in the links down below on <laughs> her schedule ng streaming, eh, streaming and yung yung kanyang link Mm-mm. so that mapupuntahan Mm-mm. ninyo lahat. Alodia, Mm-mm. thank you so much for joining us. You are such thank a... Thank you, leader. thank you. No problem. Thank oh. you. Grabe busy yung schedule niya pero naka-join no, okay. pa rin siya. Oh, thank you for your time, ma. No, no problem. Anytime. Okay. Sana may nasagot naman ako ng ano. Okay. <laughs> marami, marami. Thank you so much. All right. Three, two, one, and go. All right, ayan, thank you Alodja. Ayun, ang dami ko natutunan sa kanya. Pero alam mo, ang isang pinakamalaking take away ko talaga dito is dapat mahalin mo yung ginagawa mo kung ano man 'yan and you are bound to succeed kung ano man yung ginagawa mo. And number two partner, ito ha. Pwede pala ang work life integration. Yeah. Yung tipong ano, you don't really have to escape from what you are doing. Pwede pala yun na you're doing something, you are enjoying, you are earning from it and then kahit nakaka-stress minsan ng mga bagay-bagay, hindi mm-hmm. mo kailangan mag-escape from it kasi yun din ang magiging source mo ng distressor mo, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sa case ni Alodja, yun niya, ang maka- makakita niyang mag-succeed yung ibang tao ay eh, talagang nakatanggalan ng stress for her, di ba? Interesting. Oo. Ako, ang revelation sa akin, feeling ko, partner, gusto mo sumali sa The Gaming House, eh. <laughs> Please, please, link down below. Lalagay namin, lalo na sa mga aspiring na mga, lalo na streamers or yung gusto mag-pro sa gaming. Ayan. We'll put the link down below. I'm sure all the all the details are there kung paano sumali dyan sa gaming house. And as well, yung channel ni Alodia. Kasi if you want to interact with her, nabigay na niya ang sikreto. Just attend her streaming sessions and she will gladly, gladly interact with all of you. And ako, ang favorite part ko, alam mo, pag yung ba- isang bagay talaga ay nasa puso mo, it overflows. Mm-hmm. And what struck me about Alodia was how her happiness comes from seeing others succeed. 
Alam mo yun ang tunay na benchmark ng pag-asenso eh. Yung gusto mo nang makita okay. yung ibang tao, na umasenso na rin. And I guess that's the heart behind Tier 1 Entertainment. Um, uh, we work with Tier 1 sa ibang mga brands in my in my day job. And grabe, uh, ang galing lang na alam kasi nila na end-to-end eh. Yung, yung passion for gaming, the things that the, the industry needs, and the things na pwedeng i-supply sa industriya, and so brands as well. It's very, very interesting how she went from young playing to really streaming and to really making a business out of the entire ecosystem. So for me, yung, ang, I can't imagine lang, no, na ang dami mong hawak ng mga talents. Parang mga anak mo, di ba? Parang mga That's baby. Right. And I love that she has that heart to see people succeed. So it's, ang galing, no? it, it, it's not about revenue, it's not about ROI, but it's about creating a whole new generation of gamers like her na may ganong puso. And ako, if ganon yung puso, I can't wait to see that generation of gamers come out. Kasi kung lahat din sila, ganon din yung heart nila. Ang galing. I think that it's such a, it's such a parang ang daming waves na, na nakikreate ng ganong klaseng, ano, ganong klaseng mm-hmm. puso. Ito talaga ang major-major revelation sa akin dito. Ang dami palang pwedeng opportunities sa gaming. Ay. Na hindi lang siya basta hobby, pero maraming maging, pwedeng maging um, outcome from gaming, mm-hmm. di ba? Ayan. Alright, yeah. mga ka-asenso, kung nagustuhan niyo po ang episode na to, ayan, abangan niyo po kami every Saturday around 12 noon. Fresh na fresh po ang aming mga episode just like us. Ayan. Kaya ayan, magkita-kita po tayo every Saturday. Muli, ako po si Gerard de la Peña. Ako po si Michelle Orosa Oplen. Ako, we hope you enjoyed the episode as much as we did. God bless, mga kapatid.